We begin tonight with a political battle over how to combat toxic drug deaths. The opposition is slamming the NDP's approach of providing a safe supply of drugs, saying opioids are being resold by criminals. Alberta politicians are piling on as well. CTV's Rob Buffum has our top story. Prince George RCMP seized these drugs in a recent bust, claiming some of the pills are from BC's safer supply. The police also warned some of the safe supply is being sold by gangs and being transported outside of BC. Given the undeniable link between safe supply and organized crime, when will the Premier stop turning a blind eye? The Solicitor General didn't deny safe supply drugs are finding their way into criminals' hands, but said the problem isn't rampant. There is no widespread evidence of the diversion of safe supply uh, in this province. A notion reiterated by RCMP this afternoon. Still, Campbell River RCMP released this image last month and confirmed today evidence suggested the pills had been diverted from safe supply, intended to assist drug users. Handing out drugs to those in drug addiction does not solve the crisis of addiction. The issue caught the attention of our neighbours in Alberta, igniting fiery debate in its legislature today. We have chosen the lane and it's not the BC model of downtown Vancouver. Premier Eby today said he's spoken to Alberta's Premier Danielle Smith about concerns she had that BC Safe Supply might be crossing our border. We made a commitment to her uh, that we're happy to meet with her to receive any information or evidence or, that uh, they have of diversion. This former Alberta cop says it's likely not an issue. I, I really don't because there's drugs on Edmonton and Alberta streets right now every day. People are dying of overdoses every day. So there's drugs everywhere now. Harm reduction advocates here say the issue has become too politicized. Prescription drugs greatly outnumber those from safe supply on streets and question the priorities of those opposing safe supply. You're more concerned about a small safer supply program than you are organized crime flooding the market with toxic fentanyl that's killing roughly seven people every single day. Still, the opposition say images like these confirm what they've been warning about for months. Some safe supply drugs paid for by the province are now finding their way into the hands of drug dealers. And Rob Buffum joins us live from Victoria. And Rob, I understand RCMP issued a statement this afternoon. That's right, me and about an hour ago, they issued a statement saying although it's common for them to seize prescription drugs, it is still in the minority of cases where those drugs are intended for safe supply. And they reiter reiterated the language that there is no widespread evidence of safer supply finding its way into the hands of criminals. Not the language they used in their previous two releases before this became very politicized. Mi Jung. Yeah, definitely a political football here. Thank you, Rob.